In this video, we're going to take a look at how to register a Cisco Firewall Management Center or FMC with Cisco Smart Licensing. So what you can see on your screen now is an unregistered Firepower Management Center or Firewall Management Center. And to register this with the respective licenses, we want to click on register. And now we're going to need a product instant registration token. Now we get that from our smart licensing portal and I'll show you where that is in just a moment. But there's just a few other selections that we can make on here. The first one being um, enabling um, usage information um, to be sent to Cisco uh, Success Network and this really allows the customer success teams to really understand how you're utilizing the firewalls and the uh, FMC so that they can help to allow you to get the most out of the features that you are paying for. So if you want this enabled, then do select this option. I'm gonna leave this disabled because this is just a lab environment. In terms of um, tax support, um, Enabling Cisco Support Diagnostics is really good if you uh, want to streamline the process between your organization and TAC should you require any assistance in troubleshooting. So again, if you've got TAC support, then you know it's probably worth enabling this feature here. Again, mine's just a demo environment, so I'm not going to do that. So with access to the software the smart licensing uh, portal smart software licensing you want to log in with valid credentials and you want to navigate to your inventory now when you get to your inventory under your general section um, first and foremost you actually want to check your virtual account to see which uh, virtual account your licenses are uh, deployed in. So usually by default, unless specified, your licenses will be deployed to the virtual account. So our licenses are in the virtual account. We can see that just by clicking licenses here. So we want to go back to general and we want to generate a new token. So let's just give a description for this token. So we're just going to say test and we can choose an expiration date for this token, uh, depending on how long you want this to be available to be used to uh, register your devices. Uh, we can either choose between uh, a numeric value um, to specify how many times this token can be used, or we can just leave it blank. We'll just leave it blank. And allowing export control features, this is um, good for uh, encryption purposes so we just want to leave that selected we'll create that token and then once we've done that we have that token so now you want to click on this token and copy it so i'm just going to copy this token now and then what i will do is head back over to our firewall management center and now i need to input this registration token so i'll just copy that into there and then once I'm done, I'll just apply changes. And now you can see with valid um, connection to outbound to the internet, we will see now that we have now registered successfully and we are now authorized. So you can see the two ticks there. And now what we can do, um, now we can see that the, the, the firewall management center licenses are now compliant we also have the base licenses for the ftds that i have in my lab environment and depending on the other licenses you have you can then go in and apply say for instance if you have the malware defense license you can then go in and apply those licenses by clicking on the one you want to apply it and then edit license select your devices so if i just say select this device and then I can apply that and if you have IPS again you can do the same for these or if you have it for all of them you can actually just add all these devices like this let's just add this in here 
and then you know so on and so forth so you can then go ahead and uh, and do that so if i just quickly do this Now you can see that the licenses have been applied there successfully. We do have one out of compliance, but that's just because I've just applied something um, that we don't have in the lab. But that's it, straightforward. So if we now navigate back to our smart licensing portal and we go to licenses, we can actually see now what is in use. So we can actually see there that we've got our license is in use. The auto compliance one is going to be this one that's specified here. We can change that performance tier um, afterwards, but essentially we have everything now in place as it should be. And that's basically how you register your firewall management center for smart licensing. Thank you for watching.